Greetings everybody, welcome back. A few months ago I promised to analyze the score of Rings of Power if Howard Shore returned to do it. Now we know that he didn't. He was only hired to compose the title track, while Barry McCrary did the score, which dropped last week. I know a lot of people are anxiously hoping for a continuation of the Lord of the Rings score, a return of all the great themes that Howard Shore made that could fit this setting. I'm sure to say that no, Bear does not reference Shore's thematic catalogue. You will not hear any references to the Lothlorien theme or Sauron's theme. The Numenor theme doesn't sound like a predecessor to the Gondor theme at all. Bear does stay faithful to certain cultural stylings that Shore invented, like having dwarves being represented by male choir and elves with female, and the hobbits having Celtic influences, but that's pretty much where the similarities end. Bear has a very different style to Shore, and any analysis of his work should stand on its own two feet. So on one hand, this means that I don't have any obligation to analyze the Rings of Power score, but on the other hand, I really like Bear score. I'm recording this a week before the premiere, and I don't even know if I like the show. Please don't suck, please don't suck, please don't suck, or if the music will fit it, but what can I say? Bear knows how to make a good, hummable fucking melody. I've had several of them on constant repeat in my head ever since I first heard it, and I'm sure that you will too. So fuck it, let's do it anyway. I'll show you the main themes of the score so you can recognize them too while watching. This is The Rings of Power, what you need to know about the music. To be fair, analyzing bass music isn't actually particularly hard. See, the great thing about Mr. McCrary is that he goes out of his way to help you understand his music. 14 of the tracks on the soundtrack are theme suites, not meant to accompany a specific scene, but solely to showcase and develop one theme per track. Want to know how the Galadriel theme sounds? Just listen to the track Galadriel. And not only that, but he's also got a blog that he's kept updated during his entire professional career, where he documents all the things he's worked on. He provides notations of his most prominent themes and what unique instruments he's used. He's made episode by episode entries for shows like Battlestar Galactica, which is still my personal favorite among his work. However, I want to make this absolutely clear. At the time of this recording, Bear has not made an entry on the Rings of Power. Everything you'll see in this video, the transcriptions, the chord progressions, the analysis was done by me without any official information to rely on. Which means that this is all a bit of a trial by fire. When Bear releases his own official information, we'll see if I was right or just talking out of my ass. The only piece of official information I had to go by is this article by Variety, where Bear had this to say. I'm trying to honor the legacy of what Howard Shore created, and to do so by using those epic colors and crafting 15 new themes that can be added to the pantheon of memorable melodies that started with Shore's films. Each of the themes had an E section, a B section, an intro, a development. It was like writing a symphony. Sadly, in the rest of the score, we almost only hear the A themes. This might not be the case for the actual episodes, but for the sake of clarity, this video will only focus on the A themes and the occasionally relevant accompaniments. So, let's take them in order, beginning with Galadriel's theme.
what's interesting is that almost all these suites were put at the beginning of the album, so you can recognize them easily. But then there's actually one theme that has been heard throughout the album that for some reason is put absolutely last in the tracks. <laughs> What's interesting about this track is that it has instrumental in the title, implying that there's a version of this that is sung. I wonder what the lyrics are. So that's the 15 themes of... Right, hang on, 14? There's one left. Is it one of the songs or one of the tracks that have melodies that never appear in any other track? In the description there's a link to a Google document I made where I've timestamped where all the themes appear in the score. If you notice anything I haven't, please let me know. Also, I might just be taking things too literally. Perhaps this wasn't meant to be taken as an exact number. But who knows? Maybe there is one theme still to be revealed. We'll just have to wait and see. Please don't suck, please don't suck, please don't suck.